Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here today with another Barbie unboxing. Today, we have got the long awaited Odile Mermaids by Angel Kent. These were leaked, I swear, almost a year ago, it feels like. And <laughs> they look amazing. In person, they are so pretty and just the face ups are awesome and these are mermaid bodies that I'm probably gonna keep like I'm gonna definitely have to swap the arms out to give them articulated arms like I did for my little mermaid um, mermaid bodies but these dolls are super cute and the packaging is light like these dolls are not held in with anything they're just in the box like, you can see they're wobbling around, and I don't care. I'd rather have them molded like that to where they're going to be in the same spot than a thousand little twist ties. Especially on a Playline doll like this, like these ones, where it is, like, an $11 price point. I don't need a thousand little um, staples holding everything in place. I'm okay with that. These are going to come out of the box. So I did pre-order these as soon as they popped up on Amazon. And I was pleasantly surprised that they actually got here on time. Actually, they got here a little early. They weren't supposed to get here till mid-February, and I'm getting these, like, the second to last week of January. So, these are so cute. I did order two of each of them because they are so pretty, and this is the first time that we are getting Playline Odile. Um, and she is gorgeous. These have shown up in a couple of convention dolls and a couple of signature dolls and most notably the exclusive redhead from um, 2022 holiday doll and she was a pain to find. I did wind up with I think only two of her. I found one when she was returned in stores, and then I found another one later on that was also a return to store. Because people bought those up like they were going out of style to resell them, and then after a while they just returned them because people weren't spending $100 on them because they were holiday dolls. Um, so... <laughs> um, so I did pick up both of them. I'm going to do it both in the same video. So let's start with our lilac, lavender, pink doll. She is so cute. I love the shells on her, um, on her top. Like, so pretty. The only thing is I wish the, um, the white dots went all the way around. That's a very easy fix. Um, you can paint the rest of those pearls in in like five minutes. Just a quick dot with 50% uh, Mod Podge and 50% uh, acrylic paint. But so cute. I don't know really what's going on with her crown thing. It looks like cat ears. Kind of like, but there's her artwork down there. And then here are all four on the back of the box. Of course, we have a Millie. She's fine. You know, it's all right. And then we have a, I want to say she's a Brooklyn. No. She might be a, might be a Grace? I don't know. Um, but she's also really pretty, but I wasn't as pressed to get them as these because when these do wind up in stores, I will be buying them in bulk, probably. Because at the Playline price, it is super, uh, super great to get these. I did not show you guys the UPC. Hold on, let me grab that box again. I just threw it out of the way. Um, so here is the UPC and the assortment numbers right there for you guys, in case you're trying to find her in stores. Again, the only place she's been available so far has been Amazon, 
She is going to be a Playline doll, so she's going to be everywhere. So don't be too stressed out if you keep missing her on the restocks, because she's going to show up in Walmart soon enough, most likely. But so pretty. We're going to pop her hair free of those rubber bands. Oh, nice and soft. If I remember right, this is supposed to be Saran. I can't tell on hair textures, but it's so pretty. She's articulated at the waist. She's articulated right there at the shoulder. We've got full shoulder movement on these dolls. And I love her little tail. Like, it is super pretty. Again, not painted on the back, but that's fine. The back is more of like a solid orange. Here is a close-up of her face. It is so pretty. The lip gloss effect that they have on these lips is just great. So, she is super cute. So, I did compare her a little bit to uh, some of my dolls that I have for body swaps ahead of time. I think the closest we're going to get is the purple made to move top. I tried her against the tennis player, and she seems too pale to go against the tennis player. just because she has a warmer tone than the tennis player, which has more of a cool tone. So I'd probably go with the purple top to rebody her. I'll do that here at the end, um, just so you guys can see. But she's so pretty. And again, that is the Odile sculpt and not the... Um, that's, so that's the exact same sculpt that we got with the redhead. The one that is different is this one because she is smiling. So far, I think this one has only showed up on convention exclusive dolls, but she's so pretty. I'm a little bummed that she's got pink hair. I really would have loved for these dolls to have come with natural hair so I didn't have to reroute them just because I hate rerouting. It's such a pain, it takes forever. But again, same box art on the back. Here is the UPC and the assortment number, in case you're looking for them. Again, $11 on Amazon. These will probably drop down to nine for a while. Um, but again, these are Playline dolls. So don't stress if you're getting sold out. I ordered these as soon as they came out and they have been popping out of stock ever since. So again, don't stress. You will eventually find them in stores, most likely. Unless it's like the Dreamtopia Prince, which was a Europe and uh, South America exclusive for some reason. But. That is why you can order things from like Amazon Germany and things like that. So pretty. So she is so, so cute. She's got a different style of lips, but that's fine. I'm loving the sea star or the starfish um, on her top. Her tail does have a two-tone to it that's painted on there and it is a transparent orange on the back. I almost like this side more um, than the pink, but super cute. This one is a little bit harder to match. She is probably going to be your, um, your middle mid-tone, and by that I mean uh, let me see. So, this is the one I would call mid-tone. And as you can see next to her, 
she's just a little bit light. This will work. This is the most readily available option. So it'll work. She shouldn't look too odd on this body. Uh, but I think her actual tone is going to be this one, maybe? Oh, well, maybe not. I'm seeing it on camera. She might be closer to the other one. In the box, she looked a lot closer to the other one. But as you can see, she's got more of a red undertone, comparatively. So maybe not Freya. Maybe it's just maybe she is just going to be the uh, green maid to move. So again, not bad. Pretty close. So they are going to be pretty readily available. Don't stress about trying to find them. Uh, those are the color matches. I'm gonna body swap mine and uh, be right back. All right, we are back with our dolls that have been rebodied and dressed. They are just in kind of temporary outfits for now. Um, I might um, include them in one of our redressing videos eventually, but for now, they're just in some fun fashions that I had on hand. Wanted to give you guys a little bit closer look at the crowns that I took off. So there is our Lavender Girls. Again, it's got like conch shells on it or something like that. It's a cool little mold. This one is Sea Stars, and I feel like we've seen this mold before, so it's not as interesting to me. But it's still pretty detailed if you wanted to um, paint it and make it uh, a little bit more in line with what we had on the doll. But again, purple top made to move and the green top made to move or the green yoga made to move. Sorry, not green top. Um, they all, they both are really pretty and I am so glad that these are Playline dolls that are easily acquired, hopefully going forward. So if you guys have any questions on them, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like, and as always, follow along with some more fun unboxings. All right, y'all, be good, bye.